What began as the world's first 3D printed oven, used to cook steak, will soon replicate the conditions on the surface of Mars for scientists. Fathom, in Oakland, California, is iterating their pyro design to conduct Martian terraforming experiments. What am I looking at here, Carlo? So this is a cutaway model of Pyra, the design of a plastic oven. Uh, it doesn't use metal, so normally ovens use a lot of metal in there because of the thermal conductivity, right? So you slap a heater or you put a flame underneath a piece of metal and the metal spreads the, the heat out, right? Giving you nice even heating. With plastic, since it's an insulator, that wouldn't work. Carlo's challenge, how do you heat a chamber with a material where you can't go above 367 degrees Fahrenheit, 186 degrees Celsius? Radiation's out. So we have conduction and there's convection. It's two parts to convection. There's the lamellar airflow and there's the turbulent flow. When it's lamellar, you don't get a lot of heat transfer. When it's turbulent, you get a whole lot. And so what he's done is instead of just having a duct that goes into a lamellar flow and doesn't transmit a lot of heat, he's put these little protrusions in. And when that lamellar flow hits those protrusions, it turns it into a turbulent flow and it heats up his chamber. So with this, you can simulate a Martian environment. This means that someone at home or someone in a lab can test growing different things and seeing what just the right bacteria is that'll grow. Right. You know, get into the whole world of terraforming. So if you wanted to terraform Mars, you'd probably start by wanting to increase the temperature. You could do that by putting certain kinds of molecules into the atmosphere, like fluorine-containing molecules. And those molecules are what would create a greenhouse effect on Mars. So I think th another thing that you'd want to do if you were terraforming Mars would be to make sure there's enough liquid water. That's why you'd want to increase the temperature, because after you increase the temperature, a lot of the ice melts and then you've got liquid water, which is one of the essential ingredients for life. I think the Pyre is a really good example of a 3D printed incubator or oven that could be used to simulate some of the environments that you find on Mars. I put cyanobacteria in there. If you look back through the fossil record, there's really good evidence that they were the ones responsible for oxygenating the Earth's atmosphere. You can buy Martian regolith online, uh, and you could use that as the basis for your experiments. So you could put in Martian regolith, you could grow uh, different organisms on that regolith, uh, and you could simulate both the temperature, the ultraviolet light, uh, and the humidity of Mars. It's open source, so anyone can get these designs and anyone can see what it's like to grow on Mars and start to tinker around. Science is filled with uh, tinkerers, right? People who love uh, answering these questions and usually have to build a lot of custom hardware to answer a question that's never been asked before. With visionaries like Elon Musk and even Matt Damon dreaming of how to succeed on Mars, maybe Pyro will lead to the next big breakthrough in growing life on a distant planet. And maybe it'll be you who discovers it.